Welcome back to Six Ashes on PlayStation 5 for episode 22 with me, Mr. Sealy P. It's 8.17. Things have changed. Things have changed considerably. What a difference a day makes. I am heading back. Yesterday, uh, day five, I sent or I took the Land Rover up to Bridge North just north of Bridge North, uh, there's a company called Abbott's Machinery. The deal's primarily in farm machinery, but they've got some great engineers and mechanics up there, and they do work on Land Rovers. Luckily for me, they've done a bit of custom work on the Land Rover. As you can imagine, we have got some work to do. You'll see in a minute, we'll see if we're outside. Other things that have changed. This is now being recorded on PS5. And there's going to be a lot of tweaking and things that need to be adjusted because the mic everything's different as you can imagine everything's different so what we're going to do um is do our best one thing you may notice especially when we get out of cab a bit more how different the graphics quality is we are far closer to a pc graphics quality already um uh, now I know this doesn't kind of follow follow the narrative. Turn the engine on, oh, the lights off, and hop out. Yeah, it doesn't follow the kind of narrative I know, but this is a kind of different, odd. The whole episode's not going to be odd, but for me, it all just feels a bit peculiar because there's a lot to get my head around. Um, my editing, which I do all on PS4, which is now PS5, used in Share Factory. Share Factory does exist on PS5. It has changed somewhat. The way you record, the way you edit has changed. I've got a lot to learn as quickly as I possibly can. Uh, as far as all the peripherals, I'm happy to report. If you haven't heard it or read it anywhere and you own one because of all the, <laughs> all the hype I've given it, the Logitech Heavy Equipment Side Panel does work on the PS5. Phew! Um, not something I'd even considered. And then someone messaged me the other day and said, well, just to let you know, it does work. I thought, wow, I hadn't even considered that. Anyway, from here, we've got a few things we need to do today. Because before we head into spring, I'm moving the sheep. The sheep are moving literally to pastures new. What we're going to do, though, in here is... Now, the only thing I'm finding is the new record system. Uh, I think it's under pallets. There's a couple of ways of doing it. Whereas before, it was a kind of um, egg crates. I want some of those. I don't know, four, five, six. These are the Foo Farmer egg crates, and the ones you can pick up. Because the eggs spawn inside the shed, um, so you have to go in to get them. And this is going to be an easier way of doing them, because I can pick these up, and I can put these in the back of the Land Rover and transport them. So we'll do that. I also need to get an animal trailer, livestock trailer, to move the sheep. And then I'm also going to hopefully, don't know if I get done this episode, all the silage bales are going to be moving. Because my silage TMR operation, if I'm going to do cows, I'm going to need TMR at the cow farm. Uh, so it just kind of makes more sense to move all the bales there. I've got more shed space, more storage space. I don't have to put the silage bales indoors or under sh under cover, but I can do. So, as you can see, we've got the... Yeah, I didn't even mention it, did I? So, we've, they've done a bit of conversion work for us. So, we've now got a cab without the back and the roof rack, but we have got the opening back. I took the jerry can off because the jerry can sits right where the door opens and it didn't kind of work. Actually, these are a lot bigger than I thought they were going to be. I might only get four in the back of here. If I'm lucky, I might have to sit them on the seats, I'm not sure. How these are going to go. Mm, doesn't like that, okay. Don't think I'm going to get another one in there, right? Not sure about this. Maybe twist that one that way. That's two. <laughs> oh, maybe I can just. They're, they're only cardboard, we should be alright. I'll try and get four. We'll just pile them right up. Isn't it funny, depending on the vehicle you use, they look tiny in certain things. 
Uh, maybe. It's not pretty, but it will go in. Actually, yes, I need to push forward, I think. Otherwise, the tailgate's going to go into that, isn't it? There we go. Um, yeah. So it's all uh, all a bit different. Things are a bit crazy, I'll be honest. Um, I want to give a huge shout out to my daughter's boyfriend, who I've mentioned so many times on the channel before. He ordered um, two. Oh, this is not going to plans because I'm trying to get my head around all of this at the same time. Uh, yeah, he ordered two PlayStation 5s. One for himself and one for a friend of his. Um, because he managed to get onto the order site when they were still available and ordered, which is great. Uh, turns out then that one of the companies he worked for, works for, sponsors him, sent him a PS5. He's, he's got far more subscribers than I do. Um, now, are the straps going to go over that? They might do. It's a bit unwieldy, but they're on. I'll come back for the other two. Is that going to clip in? Mm, yeah, that's not ideal, is it? It's because it's switched around, didn't it? The trouble is I can't, I can't leave that like that. That will drive me mad. Just bear with me a second. You know what? That's going to do... Oh, livestock trailer. I don't know if this will pull it, but... We'll grab one anyway, and we'll try. If it doesn't, I'll, go, I'll grab a tractor. But while I'm here, I might as well lease one. Um, there's the standard one. I tend to go for that one. But I think that's going to pull down quite a lot on the suspension. Um, oh, I can, I can, but try. Uh, we'll leave it as it is. Lease that for seven hundred and sixty-five. Oh, uh, look at the size of that compared to the Land Rover. Is that a scaling issue? Is the Land Rover not scaled correctly, or is the trailer just huge? I think it's no. That's not going to work. Okay, come back with the tractor. Okay, right. Egg boxes. Let's get some lights on. Yeah, so I don't know if you can if you can tell any. Um, obviously, when I come to edit this, I'm going to know straight away whether the sound's not quite right. So I'll be tweaking it as I go. But can you tell graphically? I mean, I think it looks a lot crisper and cleaner from what I'm looking at, and it should be um, actually recording it a lot crisper and cleaner too. Now these eggs. These are going to be going to Mrs. Holland at the post office. She's going to be selling them. We may sell some ourselves. I am thinking about, as I've done before, having a little farm shop, but not a farm shop. I think we're going to go with a farm stall this time. I've used the self-marketing farm shop stuff a few times, but there's the new farm stall available that I could go and purchase and, um, and place, I think. So we might go down that route. I'm not quite sure yet, but... Yeah, 46 mile an hour seems way too fast. About 30 is the sweet spot. <laughs> Without you getting that steering wheel wobble you get with the Land Rover. Now that when you see on films, or you always used to see on films, when people were driving along and the steering wheel, they'd be swinging the steering wheel side to side. You'd be thinking, no one drives like that. Generally speaking, you're doing a Land Rover. <laughs> has that kind of habit yeah I think as well because we're into the last day of winter um, the snow seems to be receding as well or again potentially graphically it's, it's no different to doing a kind of scientific experiment in that normally if you're trying to be as scientific as you can you change one parameter that way you can see whether that parameter has made a difference the problem is in switching up now so many different things have changed all at the same time it's hard to tell I, I don't know whether this is the seasons thing coming out at the end of winter or graphically it's different or I, anyway again regardless of that I think I've got the zero on here haven't I I have uh, we can go oh no we need to go in here don't we the other one's the footpath so out. Isn't it weird as well how you get so used to playing the game for so long, getting in and out of vehicles, being left-hand driving, getting out the left-hand side of a vehicle, you get out and you have a habit of getting out and moving in a certain way. But because you get out the right-hand side of this, I keep going to walk off and then go, hang on a minute, no, I'm going to walk into the vehicle because normally you get out the left and walk off, you know. It's weird how you mind... Um, why is there a chicken up on the fence? That's a bit bold, isn't it? Brazen chicken. 
You getting down from there? Might have a new get a newt. Go on, away with you. So yeah, apologies for no video or mod review yesterday. Oh, no, hang on a minute. I say that I posted two map tours. <laughs> so I didn't do a video. Isn't it weird how your mind works? You don't do a mod review or a let's play. And you think I didn't do anything yesterday. Mm, I actually did. Right. So in here, this is where the egg ba boxes appear. So what I should be able to do, in theory, is bring that in through there. Drop that there, pick that up, and that goes into it. Right. So what I do is pop that on the shelf. Whoa, hang on, what did I just step on? Like so. Actually, I might push it forward a little bit. About there. Put the other ones on. If I put all six along there, we should be alright, shouldn't we? And then that way, I'm, I'm kind of covered for a little while, and then I can grab these out whenever I want to take them to sell them or take them to give to Mrs. Holland, or whoever else wants any. I really do like this. This It's one of those things as well, that when it came out, you look at it, I love it. I remember talking to Food Farmer, and he was saying about doing these, and I thought, that's such a clever idea, and I like the concept behind it. Why has it just done that? Is it because it was about to spoil a new one? Oh, regardless, doesn't matter. Um, but then you think to yourself, realistically, though, if you're doing eggs on a fairly large scale, you're going to want larger containers. But for something like this, it's absolutely perfect. Because you don't have a lot of space. You can't get pallets in here. So all those fancy auto-load pallets and stuff that we've got are all well and good, and they have their place. But for a situation like this, no. Let's swing that round. Don't know why I didn't swing the other way. No, I'll bring the other two up and we'll sit those on the shelf too. Right, that's that done. Now, I realise as well, again, talking about parameters and things changing, I've got a bit of a cold at the moment as well, so my nose is bunged up and my voice is a little bit more bassy anyway. So, also, when it comes to editing and sound, it sounds a bit bassier because I've got a cold, so, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> we'll see how it all goes. Just let me know in the comments, if, you know, I know, obviously, it's, that's also going to depend on your hearing as well, because everybody hears things differently, everybody sees things differently, because everyone's ears and eyes are completely different. So, for what one person may consider to be absolutely perfect, another person may decide isn't. So, but, you know, if if it sounds fine to you, just let me know. Um, I'll, I will, obviously, when I'm editing, I will try and tweak where I can. Uh, right, what I was going to do then. Let's pull that up there. Grab the Zerion. What I'm also going to do is grab a set of forks. I'm going to try to manually load the silage bales. At least I say I'm going to manually load probably the first set of silage bales. Is it me? Again, am I just imagining things? Or does that look a lot crisper? Does it look a lot more detailed? I think it does. <laughs> yeah, so anyway. Uh, yeah, I was thanking... Uh, Mr. Dalit JD. Uh, yeah, just he has been so helpful, so kind, so friendly. The whole way through, from when I first started out YouTube, in, he's never been shy with his time, with his with his assistance, with his advice. Um, he's been generous with, you know, he's he's given me various things. Don't, I paid for the PS5. Don't be wrong. He didn't, he didn't just he'd ordered two, so he just gave me one. No, I paid for it. I, I bought it off of him retail price. I, I, you know, but it was one of those weird things that he got um, an email on Wednesday, because they were due out yesterday, Thursday, saying that um, the company that was delivering them, I think it might have been, can I advertise? It might have been Yodel, I think, had emailed to say that they didn't think, because the amount they had to deliver, that all of them, all of the orders they had, would all be delivered on release day. Um, so just to warn people that potentially yours might be one of the ones that doesn't get, you know. So he messaged me via my daughter to say, look, you know, you, you may not get it on release day. It may be Friday, maybe Saturday, depends when I can get it out. 
And I said to my daughter, I'll be honest with you, I don't mind. It doesn't matter. It wasn't, for me, it wasn't the be all and end all to have it on release day. Um, the reason for that being that I couldn't get one. I couldn't pre-order one anywhere. Everywhere had sold out. And I'm pretty sure the figures for yesterday are pretty crazy. Any companies that got them in sold out like pretty much immediately, which is bonkers, isn't it, really? Um, but the thing about it being that if I had to wait two days because I couldn't get it on release day, it was two days or potentially, I think I mentioned before one, on one of my videos, it could be after Christmas. You know, this is going to be that year with Xbox X being released and this, the PS5, it's going to be that gift of Christmas, isn't it? That that year where you are not going to be able to get hold of one for love or money. You know, it, it won't matter. You just won't be able to find one. And if you do, they're going to be charging a fortune for them because people are buying up multiple ones to sell them on and that kind of thing. Um, you know, I, I, I got lucky. I, I honestly got so, so lucky. And I'm not, I'm not trying to rub it in anyone's faces. I'm not, you know, anyone that hasn't been able to get hold of one or anything like that, I know a lot of people were asking me, am I going to buy one? Oh, I did it again, left my indicator from. This is my bread and butter. This is, this is what I do. You know, I make YouTube videos. Um, I've always tried to you know, get the newest ones when I had PS4. When PS4 Pro came out, I got PS4 Pro. Because, you know, you, you need to kind of stay current and up with things. Uh, going through, looking at Share Factory for editing yesterday, how much that's improved there should be some changes with regard to editing in so much as um, I don't know, it's, it's difficult to explain but clips and music and sounds and I don't know, hopefully again, it's going to take a little while to learn because it's, it's relearning everything so in here and let's get the first of our sheep over into the new pasture yeah, so this field, because I had the sheep up here and I was kind of doing all the work here anyway, and because it was directly opposite, it was a grass field, because I didn't have any grass fields, it was directly opposite where I was selling the total mix ration anyway. Because I've got wood chips now, I mean, admittedly, I'm going to get to a point in the year where the wood chips aren't going to be worth as much as TMR, so I may well then go back to selling TMR rather than wood chip. But I've got the options to do both, and I've got a load of TMR in storage already, so I just thought, if I move everything over, if the sheep are going to be out of this field anyway. It doesn't really matter that, you know, I don't need to keep all the silage bales here. Because then I'm only coming back here for the silage bales. Oh, I've got the hay bales down I need to move too. But I've also got the hay bales left over from the trialling. That's something I've noticed a lot on a lot of maps recently is that when you um, go to different parts of the map, the light's different. Like I'm, in, I'm in an open field here, yeah, I can go to another open field and it can seem very bright. Yeah, other parts of fields, it's not just this map, or this area, it's, it's, you know, well, careful sheep. Drop the ramp down, let's gather them up. So how are we looking? 1.3 years, 1.3 years, we've got our 28. Can't remember how many holds. That'll be it. Confirm. Back up. Let's take them. Transference. That's what we're doing. Not in the psychological sense of the word. <laughs> Cover on. Oh, I was just about to say I don't want to get cold. They've just been out in a field in winter. The whole of winter. Pretty sure they're not going to mind getting cold. So anyway, yeah. A few things about PS5. One. Wow. Uh, speed. Incredible. The controller. Mind-blowing. Absolutely mind blowing. Whoa, hang on. It's because I took my eye off the ball. I was looking at my side panel. Can I get through past the. Oh, this might be too wide. I didn't think of that. We'll try. Um, your DualShock had, you know, had rumble function, and there was a certain amount of that when you played games. 
this is next level this is like haptic feedback um, there you get an Astro Bots game standard you can you can just go play and get used to the controller the controls and this has got kind of rumble function everywhere the controller is laden with little bits that rumble and, and move and you know and at one point the Astro Bots logo one of the Astro Bots runs across the top of it and there's just the lightest of rumbles across the controller as it moves from left to right where you feel the the feet hitting on top of this it's honestly it's hard so hard to explain it's incredible um there's also got a built-in mic in in the actual controller itself and at one point you have to blow into the mic and the mic and, and the controller vibrates so you think of the possibilities of what that can bring to a game you know role-playing games those kind of all sorts of stuff is is mind-boggling where am i going i should have got the main road why did i come this way i was thinking i was coming up to the oh that wood where i had my did the trialing that's called wooten dingle i was looking up or no I was, I was looking at the various different areas and but i was looking for land rover garages actually to take the land rover to be altered and uh i found the ordnance survey map of the area yeah, Wooten Dingle. That's so cool. That's where the trial was, Wooten Dingle. Am I going to get around here now? I should have just gone the main roadway. That would have been a lot easier. Yeah, and then the, you've got the triggers on the controller as well. Uh, and it gives you the option, again, when you test out the controller, to um, pull the triggers. It's got a two-stage trigger pull. Now, the concept for that, playing shoot em ups shooting games, sniping games... You've in essence, in essence, you've got a two-stage trigger. It, it's, <laughs> it is so hard to explain. It's a little bit like when I played VR for the first time. When you, when you start using the controller, and you, your mind goes, what is happening? But also, as I was setting it all up, and I was saying to, uh, to Mr. Dalek JD yesterday, um, it's incredible how a game and i think i mentioned this in the previous video about driving the land rover how just doing something to make you smile just doing something because there's absolutely nothing wrong with that there's nothing in the world wrong with that doing something just because and if it makes you smile if it makes you feel like a little kid again who cares and that was exactly what it did um, I kind of started doing stuff with the controller and I just couldn't stop grinning so this is incredible you know the VR was the same you know you put you put that on your plane and think this is oh, it just now I'm thinking VR with this controller you are at next level gaming the feedback you're getting from all your senses is insane so yeah I mean when you can get hold of one or if you've got one in order if you've got one coming or you know if you're in any sort of decision dilemma you know if you're an xbox guy generally speaking xbox guys stick to xbox if you're a ps uh, playstation guy generally people will stick some people switch between some people own both um if you're in any doubts as to whether you want to get it if you can afford to get one and they're not cheap don't get me wrong they're a lot cheaper than i thought they were going to be i would say yeah get one it's, I mean, obviously, it's the next level of gaming. I don't suppose it's going to be long before they bring out the PS5 Pro, and they will do a PS5 Slim, all that kind of stuff. I've got some more animals to move, so I'm going to stop wittering on, as I often do, and I've realised I've been wittering for quite a while, and now I'm concerned that if the mic is really bad, I've just wasted all this time. But anyway, I'm sure it'll all be fine. I'll move the rest of the animals over. We've done the first... Or was it 12 we just moved oh, I didn't even look we'll just keep going until we've moved them all and then that way at least when we get to spring and they start producing wool the wool will be producing in that place then I won't have to move wool as well because I'm leaving where they are they'll start producing wool in the field they're in then if I move them they'll start producing the new field and it, you know, it just makes sense to have it all done in one place and I still, still think I might buy some more so what I might do then is once I've moved all the ones I've got, I might pop to the livestock market and get, I don't know, maybe 10 more. 
I've got the money, can afford to, so I might as well. I should have had the beep or something else, shouldn't I? So, I'll see you in a little while. Sheep are all moved. We have 10 new sheep. I've also taken the liberty of, we've had the sheep pen here dismantled. Uh, the water pump, we have, in inverted commas, moved. So the sheep in the new pasture do have a water pump. I'm getting rid of the smaller bale trailer that we originally had. We've bought a larger one. I've also, on the telehandler, which is up in the field now, leased the Lizard V Grab, which is from Creative Mesh. Um, came with the add-on straw harvest. That's weird. What was happening there? Oh, there we go. So, um, that should make life a little bit easier. I've used them before... 3,454. Did I buy that trailer or lease it? I bought it. 20,000 with a few changes. I think I've gone with a galvanised floor. I think I changed the wheel options. I can't remember now. Now, as I've done before and said before, I'll trailer hitch on the back as well. It is quite long, but we should be okay for what we do. It's not too big. If at some point I get a lorry, then maybe I'll get a lorry one, I don't know, but it does have straps, you can put all sorts on, it doesn't have to just be bales. Um, but what I often do is I get ones like this, an auto load. I load onto it manually, and if I'm happy with it, that's good, strap it on, away you go, no problem. However, if you decide that your load is awful, and you're practicing and you're new to it, or you're just not very good at stacking bales, or whatever it might be, but you want to have a go at doing it manually, do it manually, put them all on, and then once they're all on, you can then do the auto load function, and that just tidies them all up. So you are still manually loading, but you kind of, I said before, you get the best of both, both the worlds with that. Um, I know in the real world you don't have that option, and if you make a hash of your loading, you make a hash of the loading, that's just the way it is. And people do. I'm backing up into here only because it's too tight a turn to come back on yourself. I've done that a few times as well, but again, you may be new to the channel, you may not have seen me doing that. So I'm going to put that to the side, beacons off, have that on, engine off. What I'm going to do though, before we do anything, is check, these should all be silaged by now. Yeah, I'm pretty sure all these stacks are. The new ones over here, I think I've been here two days now, haven't they? Yeah, we're good. So everything is silaged, it can all be moved. So it doesn't matter what stack goes where, they can all just be piled on. I'm going to need to do a bit of work here. I'm, I don't know whether I'm going to leave this hard standing or whether... Um, but what I'm probably going to do where all this got placed, the animal pen, I'm probably going to plough this out. Probably. Or plough this middle section, I'm not too sure yet. I might plough the whole lot out and then reseed with grass in the spring. That way I know... Everything should be good as gold. Although it's still showing the, ma the manure that I put it down. Anyway, regardless of all that, um, I keep saying that a lot. I, I, I've said that before. I get into these habits of um, saying a particular phrase all the time. I'm not too sure why. So the Lizard V Grab has a grab on it. Uh, although I am going to do these first ones end on. I should be okay. He says. Go on to there. L1 and Triangle. Grabs the bales. Now, obviously, if I do decide to auto load these, if I put these on sideways, which is how I'm doing them now, when it auto loads, it will then switch them around a different direction. So it depends how you want to go about it. But like I say, it just it does give you the option if you have made a mistake to do something about it. But if you don't want to, you don't have to. You can buy these and have auto load off. Uh, then I want to do that and that. No, that's beacon. That and forgotten what it is. How do I disconnect those? 
<laughs> How do I undo my V-grab? Can't remember now. Drop bales. Oh, up. There we go. <laughs> I pressed everything else in the D-pad, but not the right one. Okay, right. <laughs> I'm so pleased the side panel works. Am I indicating? Of course I am. Now this should hold 24, but, you know. So today, like I say, transference, it's been about transferring the sheep, now transferring the bales. We'll get everything over, and we're kind of preparing for spring now. That's where we're at. Oh, that's a bit heavy, isn't it? Probably shouldn't have done that many. Take my time with this one. Although that could get a little bit dicey when I try and lift it up. So one game I have noticed a massive, massive improvement. I say is um, SnowRunner. Wow. Graphically and also because on PS4 the fan was just going bonkers a lot of the time. <laughs> that did improve with changes that they made, the dev teams made. But with PS5, blimey it's different. No more of that. Let's see if I can knock those over a little bit. Right, pack that up a bit, drop that down. That and that what I'll do is stick another two on top of that well that's going to mess that next pile up though isn't it uh, do, 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 do. I'll sort some <laughs> it's because of the way I've stacked them all I'll tell you what I could do oh, this is a lot of mucky because they're all in stacks of four I've kind of done them all pretty much already what we'll do is so as you can imagine I've got a bit of work to do I uh, will take the telehandler probably down with me. Oh, that didn't go as well as I'd hoped. Whoa! Didn't want to go through the hedge either. I can tidy these up. It's going to take me a little while, but again, it's another one of those jobs I really don't mind. I, I find very therapeutic. And then, tomorrow, we're going to be day one, spring. Of course, it's going to depend very heavily on temperatures, because um, if the temperature's not high, then we're not going to be able to do any um, crop work. If the ground's, ground's still frozen, but we are then heading in towards, we're into the new year, we're, we're off again. I've got a load more fields, it's going to be a lot more work. Maybe a new harvester or maybe a second one, because I barely use the one I've got. So in all honesty, I'd rather just, uh, that's better. Yeah, I'd rather just stick with the one I've got, maybe buy a second one if I can get my hands on one. Uh, another stack of four on there. And then what I'll do from the back of the trailer, once they're all on, I could be strapping them down now as I go, I can then give them all a shove from the back and hopefully it will line them all up a little bit. <laughs> a little bit neater, maybe. Maybe not, that's not the level, is it? That's a bit better. There we go. Shove them a little bit. Could probably do with the rear weight on this, couldn't I? I know you can get one, you can customise it with a rear weight. I probably should have done that, shouldn't I? knowing I was going to be doing bales, but it is lifting them. Got a little bit of wheel slip, I can say a little bit, a lot of wheel slip at the back. Try to hit the other bales. I think that'll probably do. That and that. Will I get another... T mm, should do, shouldn't I? That's way more than 24, isn't it? I'm at 24 at the moment, aren't I? 8, 16, 24, yeah. So that's the that's what that says it should carry. <laughs> Let's see. If I can get away with it, I'll do it. Why not? I'll have to take my time, it'll be very unhappy 
won't want to stay level and I've run the risk of the whole thing toppling over which for me wouldn't be unusual no, level that up that's a bit better here we go, grab lift so I'm worried about this last stack well, it should be on enough. I'm just thinking whether it's going to overhang, it will topple off, but it might be okay. Like I say, these probably should be on the other way around, but I know we should be all right on there. I say. That is grossly overloaded. And then, I don't know if I can get to do this, but whether it'll move or not, I don't think, but. Yeah, movement there. Now, as far as the fact they're silage bales, and I'm piercing them with the uh, prongs. Oh, the top one, uh, not really. But anyway, right, okay. Let's strap them down. So strap. Um, you can get silage tape. Um, it's the sort of tape you use for sealing up damp proof membrane and stuff like that. And they use it on farms quite a lot. So if you do puncture holes in the side of your silage wrap or catch them on a fence or you have used spikes, bale tines, um, you then just go grab a patch of it and just stick it over the hole and it sticks onto the plastic around it. Job done. Right. That will stay... Oh, actually, it come down with me, but... Now, like I say, at this point, I could auto-load those and it'll restack them, but because I've done more than 24, which is what this bell hold, this trailer holds, that last lot I probably shouldn't have put on, but for what I'm doing. More than happy. So, egg pallet's gone. One thing I've found with this area on, it really does not like the snow. It doesn't like the winter. It slides a lot. So I'm hoping once the snow goes, we should be okay. actually not too bad I thought it's gonna be a lot heavier I'd like like more unwieldy I thought it might want to tip more but that actually feels fairly stable and for me that's not bad stacking actually <laughs> uh, if you've watched my channel for a while I, I have good days and bad days with all of it so you know sometimes everything just goes perfectly other times it's awful and you stop part way through and think I don't want to do this anymore <laughs> ah anyway These will go off, and what I'll probably do is unload these. Um, I'll bring the telehandler over. Um, these don't have to be, like I say, don't have to be under cover. I'll try and work out because I've got a lot of bales to move, where I'm going to put them, how I'm going to go about it, and then we'll stick them all in one place. Um, I'm going to see you in a minute. I'm just trying to think time wise. Because this is as much of a kind of recording test as anything else, should have put those on. This. Uh, and I say the same thing as well done every single time this is probably going to be a slightly shorter episode and then the next time I see you we're back into spring new year everything goes in. Ah! no that was something I meant to mention switching over from PS4 to PS5 saved everything to the cloud all my saves all my game saves everything up to the cloud great go on to PS5 bring it all back down again but when you come into the mod hub all of your mods have gone your game saves are all there everything was fine all my game saves were where they should be but all my mods had gone so I had to re-download every single mod and it would appear I missed one. Oh, that being said as well I just oh no I can see him I was just thinking oh the orange silos but they're still there no I had all my hay and straw in there I forgot the hayloft. Uh, so a lot of people have been asking me as well, with the new console, do the, does the slot count go? No. The slot count is linked to the game. Um, FS19 
has slots on console um, because that's kind of built into the game and what the console could cope with. PS5 should be able to cope without having a slot limit. That will all come down to the next version of the game whenever that happens. So the next version of the game on the new consoles may, I'm not saying it will, may not have a slot count. But as it stands at the moment, you can play PS4, FS19 on PS5. There is still a slot count. However, I don't know if it's because I had to re-download all my mods, whether it's just done a bit of a clean-up, because you know all those mods that... Oh, hang on, whoa, all my bells are moving around. Oh, that's because I'm using it manually loaded in an auto-load trailer, isn't it? No, please don't go all weird. Um, there was all those errant mods that you couldn't get rid of that kept saying you had to update and you'd update them and then uninstall them and they'd still be there i think it cleared a load of those up probably as well i've missed a load of mods that i originally had that i haven't re-downloaded but i was running at about 70 percent capacity in my mod hub re-downloaded everything and i'm only now sitting at 52 so i'm seriously thinking there's going to be a little bit of cleanup has gone on because I haven't got any of those update files sitting there now, any of the mods I need updating, but there'll be some mods I missed. I don't think, I don't think the PS5 has allocated a bigger capacity for slots. I, I, I mean, I could be wrong again. It's another parameter that's changed. These look awful now. Okay, so maybe what I'll do is next load, I'll go with 24, and then I'll I'll auto load them. Well, so once I've manually loaded, I'll auto load them to tidy them all up and then they'll be good for transport because at the moment that's getting a real mess and that's not going to be great for unloading at the other end. Anyway, uh, with that being said, like I say, I need to, I need to now sort out because it's going to take me a lot longer to edit and that kind of stuff. I'm going to get on to editing. So sheep are moved, egg boxes are done, we've bought some new sheep, we've sold the old trailer, we've uh, moved the first lot of silage bales. I will be moving the rest of the silage bales and I will be also moving the hay bales that I've got there. As I mentioned, the hay bales that were left over from the trialling... What did I just hit? Oh, the hedge there. Bales don't like hedges. So I won't get in there. I was just worried then that the trailer was too big. Um, yeah, I stored those up in the building up here, which is probably where I'm going to put all of these I think I don't want to put too many bales in one spot because then it can go a bit laggy but they're here at the moment I'll put some silage bales this end uh, and then I might put some more in that barn there but anyway um, that's where I think I'm going to leave it I'll unload these I'm going to have to sort this out now because that's now gone horribly wrong <laughs> and then I'll uh, have a look at sound levels and various things like that so like I say, hasn't been as narrative focused on this one because of all the changes and things that have happened. Um, but nevertheless, I hope you've enjoyed the episode. I hope you're still enjoying it. When we get into spring, there's be loads more to do and we'll be getting off of doing silage bales and wintry stuff. Um, but if you have enjoyed it, if you are enjoying it, give us a like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.